So obviously Parkinson's is a very long-term progressive disease. Can you talk a bit about how the, the mix of medication might change over, over decades, for example? Before starting medication, we have to tell people about the things that they can do for themselves, you know, diet and exercise, you know, information, education, signposting, all of those things. And not, not assume that Parkinson's management is just about drugs, but of course the drugs do form a, a, the mainstay of, of management. My, my favourite would be to start someone on levodopa, because I think the, the, the benefits and the, the long-term risks of this are the most favourable. And then to add in drugs as necessary with the onset of motor fluctuations, which is this variability in someone's condition throughout the day, according to the, the, the drug in, increasing in its levels and then wearing off again. In the later stages, sometimes the, the, the risk benefit changes and the side effects that people perceive um, as a result of multiple drugs can, can actually outweigh the benefits they're receiving. And, and this can be in terms of dyskinetic movements, the fidgety involuntary movements we see. It can be in terms of hallucinations or even more um, disabling, you know, agitated distress, you know, psychotic forms of behavior that, that, can, that can follow, you know, complicated drug regimes. As the disease goes on, sometimes we have to recognize that the regime needs to be simplified and we strip away some of the accessory drugs to the point that ultimately just stripping back to levodopa as the single therapy is the best tolerated, most effective way of keeping people's symptoms under control. If you're interested in finding out more about Parkinson's, subscribe for a new video every Thursday.